Hey guys, um, I'm Costa Giannotis. You've probably heard my voice before um, in, in previous episodes. Um, we're getting together, the three hosts, to do a quick little recap of season one, um, which is going to end at the end of this semester, and then we'll kick off season two um, starting next semester, probably around the new year. Um, so in this episode, we're just going to kind of highlight some things that we maybe learned or our favorite pieces and parts of uh, season one, maybe our favorite episode, something along those lines, and then we'll reintroduce ourselves and hopefully we'll see you guys again um, in season two. So to start, um, Costa Giannotis, as I said, um, I hosted the Ben Carlson episode, the Barry Ritholtz part one and two, um, as long, and, and, and the uh, Mark Cicchini episode. Um, yeah, so I'll pass it off to my co-host, Justin. Yeah, my name is Justin Jackson. I'm a senior CFP student at Michigan State. Um, we've had a great opportunity this semester running this podcast. Um, my beat's been the advisor growth community. I say that's pretty much the coolest thing I've gotten to get introduced to, become a part of, at least through conversation. Um, I've had conversations with uh, Doug Bonaparte, um, Taylor Schulte, Justin Castelli, Brittany Castro. And I have about eight other podcasts coming next semester. So I'm pretty excited about that. Justin. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, and I'm Justin Halverson. I know it gets confusing. We got a lot of Justins on this show. But um, yeah, so I'm Justin Halverson. I hosted a lot of the early episodes, if you guys remember. So we had Todd McLean, uh, Jackie Veneer on there, a lot of Plant Moran people. And then some of these later episodes, um, I don't know if I'd say I'd have a lane. Frankly, I've kind of settled into this um, rhythm of whoever I find interesting and I want to talk to, I, I'm going to reach out to and see if they'll talk to me. So like the last conversation I think I had was Ian Bloom. This guy was a relationship life planner, which it was very interesting and RLP, something that I hadn't seen. So yeah, I, I've learned a lot this season. It's been incredible to see how much we've grown. So yeah, um, Costa, I got a question for you, man. So I guess, do you want to you want to tell us maybe some of your favorite moments so far, or what, you, what you've learned this semester? Yeah, I think for me, um, getting to interview two members of the Ritholtz Wealth Management team, um, and Ben Carlson, and uh, as I talked about earlier, Barry Ritholtz, part one and two. Um, Barry's was a little bit more long-winded, which is awesome, just getting to talk to him for like an hour. Um, but I, you know, I follow those, those guys pretty closely um, personally and read a lot of their stuff that they put out and watch their YouTube videos and all that. So it was kind of like meeting your heroes type of deal. Um, but that was really cool. How, uh, yeah. So then I guess I'll pass that question off to Justin Jackson as well. Yeah. I mean, I guess the cool world of independent advisors is something that I'm learning about. There's kind of a whole community through uh, XY Planning Network and the advisor growth community. Um, I think when you're in college, you know, a lot of the big companies that recruit you are what shape your images of, um, you know, your mental images of what being a financial advisor looks like. And um, these people are kind of the people that are even changing what that looks like. Um, they're kind of rewriting it. And so for me, I'm really excited to hear just like, hear everybody's approach, hear what they think is uh, kind of the new way financial planning is supposed to be. So for me, that's just an interesting conversation to have. And I've, I really enjoyed that. That's yeah, that's awesome. It's funny to, it's so funny to hear you guys say it. like Costa, you said, talk to your heroes. I think you guys have inspired me, so to say, because I didn't even think uh, when we started this, that that would be possible, that we'd be able to talk to Ben Carlson and Barry Ritholtz and Justin Castelli, but here we are, we're doing it. So I have to say, watching you guys have those conversations has inspired me. So I just finished the psychology of money. I've got my questions for Morgan Housel typed up here, and I think I'm going to be reaching out to him. And I know, uh, Next semester, yeah, I'm definitely going to swing for the fences after you guys. But yeah, what, what I've learned this semester, my favorite thing, like talking to people from all over, it's crazy to hear people's path to becoming advisors. Um, I feel like every single person that at least I've talked to this year, nobody went into college or grad, even graduated from college really planning on going into this and pursuing this as a career path, getting their CFP. So it's been really encouraging to hear that uh, from from my perspective. Yeah, so I just have a quick question for you guys. Um, and then obviously I can answer for myself as well. 
what's what's been your guys' sort of approach to um, networking with these people and having them on the podcast? I know Justin Jackson, you talked about you really hit that advisor growth community um, pretty hard. But what what's been your approach to that? Well, I think if anything, I've been super inspired by this community, like the full blown, just advisors. I'm not just talking about the advisor growth community, but like the financial advisor career path. I mean, advisors hook up other advisors and inspiring advisors, you know, um, this is a people business. And when you ask people's people to connect you, they open up, you know, they open up the Rolodex, they send the invite for you. So it's been pretty amazing just seeing like how open-minded and how receptive they are to like, connecting so basically everybody i've talked to they've introduced me to one or two more people that they think are interesting or they think would be a great conversation to have so it's been pretty awesome seeing that happen from my perspective it's kind of the same thing i think it started for me a lot on that angle like you said uh, um you you kind of get you have a guest on and they say oh um this person's really interesting so you kind of talk to them so yeah that's that's definitely been my strategy i've noticed i've tried to Frankly, I think all of us here in WMA, you guys can tell me, but I've been trying to take advantage of this virtual environment. Um, and I think a lot of advisors, given the fact that we're all spending so much time in front of our computers, have been more willing to say yes. So that's kind of been my angle as I've been swinging for the fences, you know, going after Morgan Housel and some other big New York Times authors next semester. And my angle is mostly, well, they're sitting in front of their computer a lot more than often. And we just want to learn about them. And I've, frankly, I've been really surprised that when I hear, when you reach out to somebody and you go, Hey, I just want to learn more about what you do. Um, I don't think I've ever had somebody say no. They've either said, yes, when can I talk to you? Or yes, I'm so booked right now. Let's talk in six months. So it's been, uh, it's been pretty interesting. But what, what about you, Costa? Yeah. I mean, I would second everything you guys have said, like, uh, especially the, the piece about people really being open to doing this, like, again, it's pretty easy to be like, oh, these, these are three college kids. Like, I don't really have time for this. Like, I got other stuff I need to do. I got to build my business or I got to, you know, go out and get new clients. I could use my time, uh, you know, in a different way. Uh, but a lot of people have just been really open, even like the, you know, some of the more um, notable people in the industry have really just been like, it's been really easy to communicate with them. Uh, they respond to emails really quickly and all of that stuff. So that's been really cool to see. But yeah. I have got a question for you guys. So do you think there's one skill or one skill or how do you guys think you've changed from the beginning of this semester when we started this to the end? And I, I could kick things off here and I just could say, I know I'm a much better listener. I found that even in my classes and it's even helped me focus. So I don't know, have you guys found any big changes? Have you guys seen any big differences? Yeah, I think for me, um, along with becoming a better listener, I think um, there's two other things. So number one, I think I phrase my sentences a little bit better and I'm uh, able to communicate to people uh, better. See, now I'm going to stumble because I said that, but um, <laughs> no. And then the other thing would just be like networking tip or, you know, networking uh, skills. So reaching out to these people, phrasing emails correctly, making sure there's no typos or spelling mistakes, that sort of thing, you know, being professional in that aspect. Um, and then, you know, connecting on LinkedIn, promoting the, the episode um, through their networks, as well as ours, as well as WMM, WMAs. Um, so all those things have been something that I've really worked on. And uh, I've seen it sort of pay off with interviews, like job interviews. Um, you know, I've, I've gotten a lot better at phrasing things, how I want to phrase them and making sure my star stories come across as um, how they're supposed to. So it's been really helpful. Yeah. And for me, you, you kind of mentioned listening. And I think a big part of listening is, is genuinely being curious, like trying to understand what the person's trying to communicate, trying to understand the person's story. Um, so yeah, like being curious is like really helped me think, think of questions I wouldn't, you know, that, that aren't just bullet point type questions. Um, really listening wanting to understand the other person really creates a better conversation. And you learn a lot more too, when you're like, wait, why did you, why did you think that? Like, why did you think that? Instead of holding that question in, actually asking that question tends to be the more interesting question, making the better conversation than just maybe whatever the bullet point topic is that you wanted to get to. 
So I think like genuine curiosity has been like a skill or just a mindset that I've learned from this podcasting that I think is going to be like really helpful in future podcasts and just as probably even as a financial planner, just talking to people, trying to being curious, like what, why did you think like this? What makes you think like this? So anyways, that's probably a skill set I would say. That's fascinating. I mean, it's funny. I think when we started to, we, this is the first podcast I've ever done. And I know I was concerned all about the length of conversations and we, we tried to put like a time limit on the first few. And I know like I would sit there and watch the clock and it's funny to see how things have progressed. And I've been more focused on actually talking to people, how much better and not, not the conversations have, they've gotten better, but it's not even from the perspective of the guests. It's from me. I think I've gotten better at asking questions and going off the script more. So yeah, it's really funny you say that. I just recorded a podcast with Leah Schmid last week. I don't know if that will be out by the time we release this, but that was what we ended the podcast on, Justin, was being naturally curious and talking about how every single person out there no matter what their diplomas or, you know, level of IQ is, they know something you don't know. And if you listen to them, they'll be, they'll be willing to tell you that. So it's, uh, it's been really fascinating to see that. All right, guys. So that's going to uh, sort of finish up our recap of season one here. Um, we're looking forward to doing a lot more of this um, in season two, uh, which will start on January the 7th of 2021. So be on the lookout for that ne that next episode. Awesome. Thanks, Gosa. So, yeah, I just want to thank everybody. This has grown so much. Great things planned for next semester. So um, thank you. Keep, uh, keep listening, guys. Hello, everyone. This is Vincent Pacillo, producer of the MSU WMA podcast, where we are inspiring and educating the next generation of financial planners. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please check out our channel on all platforms such as Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And check out our social media at MSUWMA and MSUWMA.com.